All right, everybody. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, we were on the Game of Thrones map in the last COD Goals gameplay, but this map right here, Freefall, this makes Stonehaven look like firing range. Honestly, dude, I always knew this Freefall map was terrible. From I remember from playing it way back in the day, but I just played it again this morning, and I was like, damn, it's even worse than I remember. I mean, look at this. It looks like a zombies map. What's that one zombies map where you're playing in a hotel where everything's all busted up? I mean, it looks like a zombies map. I mean, just look at how... You want to talk about a map with no flow and just cluster all over the place? Look at this map, dude. Freefall. Yo, I don't want to hear Gustav Cannon. I don't want to hear about Chasm. I don't want to hear about Stonehaven. This. This right here. Even the USS Alexis Texas. This map right here puts them all to shame. By far the worst Call of Duty map ever designed. And this was the bonus. They, they, that's the funny thing, man. This was the bonus. Like, yo, you pre-ordered this game. We're going to give you the free fall bonus map. And I couldn't even see that, dude, man. Yo, it is it is so hard to spot people on COD Ghosts. That's one thing I've been having trouble with since I've been back is just seeing people, man. The colors are so bad. It's so hard to see people. I don't know. I need to go out and get... Where, where was this guy? Where, this dude just came crawling out the wall. <laughs> Where was that guy coming out of, man? Ooh, I got to get that scope. Armored Zangief. Oh, that's the 2KD player. The Bushwicky gold gun with the target finder. Yeah, that dude's got some serious skill. I got to get like him. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, free fall. Complete, complete, complete. I mean, I don't even know what they were thinking. Whoever put this map in the game... Uh, like I said, must have been some heavy, heavy drugs going on uh, when they were designing this map. But anyway, that's enough about <laughs> trashing this map. Oh, this map's already trashed, literally. Well, I want to talk about some stuff that went down the other day. So, I think a couple days ago it broke. The, the news broke late at night. I did not have time to make a video. Could not get to a computer yesterday, so I'm going to talk about it today. It looks like uh, Condry and Schofield have left the building, people. They are no longer... With Sledgehammer Games, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this by now. I mean, that's how bad COD World War II is. I mean, Condry and Schofield rage quit their own damn studio. I mean, damn, dude, listen. Advanced Warfare didn't even feel like a Call of Duty game to me. I thought it was terrible. And COD World War II boots on the ground. I mean, Ghost is better. I think, I think this game is better than COD World War II. I mean, it's really similar, right? You got a very bland, very boring boots on the ground COD game, except COD Ghosts destroyed the creative class system in COD Ghosts, destroys the division system in COD World War II. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give Ghosts some props right now. I think COD Ghosts has got the best creative class in the entire COD franchise. What is this guy doing? What, what, what was he doing? Oh, he knew these guys were going to be coming out here. Oh, all right, I saw. I'm going to steal all those campers' kills. I stole all your kills, baby. Sorry. I got all three of them. <laughs> I got all three of them. Look, he's still camping there. All right, see ya, bro. <laughs> Honestly, and the hit detection's better. So the, the hit detection is go. Does anyone think that COD World War II has better hit detection than COD Ghosts? <laughs> I mean, they're all talking about, oh, we got 60 hertz hit detection. It's going to be amazing. Oh, bro, are you kidding me? The hit detection... In COD World War II, amazing for the snipers, pretty much terrible for everybody else. Terrible. Uh, so, I mean, we haven't seen two studio heads leave since Zampella and West back in the MW2 days. And it pretty much doomed the franchise. <laughs> Schofield and Con... Well, actually, it didn't doom the... Uh, uh, Vondahar and Treyarch holding it down. But Zampella and West actually made good COD games. COD 4, everybody loved that game. COD 4 pretty much hooked all of us on this franchise the older call of duty players such as myself uh, they made mw2 <laughs> mw2 crazy as hell but the game's fun a fun call of duty game for a couple hours then you just got to get off because the aids is just too much uh, what did condry and schofield make i mean they made advanced warfare i mean i'm sure a few of you guys out there liked it i thought it was terrible it didn't even feel like a call of duty game and cod world war ii boring as hell Boring as hell, very limited with the crater class. Uh, I mean, COD Ghost, I think, is w much better. And apparently, so do you guys, because I put a poll on Twitter. And check out these results, man. Over 3,000 votes, 65% of you guys think COD Ghost is better than COD World War II. 
And you know what? I agree with you. I'm right there with you guys. And what? Look at this. I'm like, what is this? I'm stuck in here. I'm just gonna chill right here, man. I don't know what to do. There's a, there's a dude above me, there's a dude behind me, there's a dude to the left, to the right of me. This is one thing Call of Duty needs to do. Get rid of these maps where you could get flanked from like five, six different ways, man. It's ridiculous. I hate it. Nobody likes getting shot in the back 24 seven. So this could be a good or a bad thing for Sledgehammer games because I did not like the direction Condry and Schofield were taking Call of Duty. I don't like maps with a, a zillion different ways to get flanked. I cannot stand skill-based matchmaking. It's terrible. Matchmaking should be connection only. Put skill base in competitive. You got a competitive playlist just for that reason. You don't need skill-based matchmaking in pubs. Uh, and listen, it's not like Condry and Schofield quit Call of Duty. Oh, we're out of here at Sledgehammer Games. We're, we're, we're not going to work on Call of Duty anymore. We're done. Listen, they didn't leave the way Zampella and Wes did with a big argument with Activision. <laughs> Activision actually promoted these dudes to executive. They promoted. Hold up. Let me just read this. Make sure I know what I'm saying here. Yeah, man. They they promoted these dudes to executive. They got promoted to executive positions, man. They arguably made the two worst COD games in the entire COD franchise. So what does Bobby Kotick do? He tells them, "Yo, Schofield Condry, come on in. We got an executive office waiting for you, gentlemen." Now listen, man, it's cool they got promoted. I like to see people out there get money. That's great. But do you I don't think these guys deserve an executive position. They made the two worst COD games ever. But I guess it's all about the sales, right? And Advanced Warfare did pretty good with sales, I think. Look at my maniac suit, man. Why can't the maniac suit just crash through a window and land where I throw it? This is another horrible map design. Where am I supposed to call in my maniac suit on this map? The, the whole building is bombed out. Why can't the Maniac suit just drop? Oh, my God. The Maniac suit should drop exactly where the smoke is on the map where you call it. What the heck? All right, let's see here. Bush Wookiee suit, gold camo, suppressed weapon. I didn't stand a chance. I, I, I didn't stand a chance. It was all over. All right, so Schofield and Condry, executive positions. What does this mean for Call of Duty? First of all, what type of executive positions is Schofield and Condry going to get? Because we all know that Eric Hirschberg left. So Schofield and Condry, one of those guys might get maybe the CEO. Condry for CEO? Come on, man. Whatever happened to Thunder for CEO, baby? <laughs> Where's my executive position? Activision? I can make COD great again, baby. Hey, you know what else, fellas? I'm sick of seeing all these articles. Oh, Condry and Schofield after the massive, massive success of COD World War II. What success, man? That game's been dead since December. What success? I mean, a lot of people bought into the boots on the ground hype. That, that's what the success was. The hype. I think COD World War II is a massive failure. Honestly, as a Call of Duty fan, it might have sold a lot just based on hype. The hype sold those games, not the actual game itself. The game's boring. It's slow. It's buggy as hell. There's no way they spent three years making that thing. So, I mean, shit, I want to work for Activision. You can churn out shitty COD games and get promoted to executive position. You can get promoted. But good news for Sledgehammer Games is now that Condry and Schofield are out of there, there might be hope for the next Sledgehammer COD. There might be. Because Condry and Schofield, they're gone, and hopefully they'll take their horrible shitty map designs, horrible, crappy, lame kill streaks that don't do anything, and the damn skill-based matchmaking and take it, take it out of here. Just get rid of it. All right, fellas, so I got boned out of my juggernaut, juggernaut, juggernaut maniac suit in the last gameplay but i'm gonna get it right here and i missed this kill streak man or oh, point streak whatever it's called the juggernaut maniac the knife jug was so much fun you guys remember all the free-for-alls i used to upload with the knife jug i'm playing some team deathmatch right here and i'll tell you what man cod ghost <laughs> definitely a lot more fun than cod world war ii is sadly uh, hey how come you're not promoting tina Plasios, man give tina a promotion tina should have got that executive spot did anyone ever find out what happened to mark rubin that dude just straight up vanished after this game was made. But listen, Ruben and Placio should have got the executive position. It's not Schofield and Condry. This game was way better. Just look at me running around with the Jug Maniac, baby. Ooh, get owned, son. A lot of fun, man. Too bad this uh, too bad this Jug suit didn't come with like, ooh, look at look at the moves I put on that dude. Get owned, baby. And too bad this Jug suit didn't have like that fire break heat wave thing where you could stun enemies and rush up on them. 
You're going to see why right here coming up. It would have been epic if I had something to stun enemies with. Uh, I jumped down right here, <laughs> shanked this dude. Now, if I had something I could use to stun these guys right here, it would have been epic. I would have got a three-piece with these, but instead I get mowed down. Whatever. Went on a nice little streak with the Jug Maniac here on Octane. I think that's the name of this map. I could be wrong, fellas. It's been a while since I played some COD Ghosts. But this is probably one of the best maps in the game, opposed to Freefall, which is easily the worst map in the game. Freefall will be a beast map for Prop Hunt, though. Is that Prop Hunt in COD Ghosts? Imagine playing Prop Hunt on Freefall. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and look at this dude, the human sentry turret in the back of the map. I'm telling you, man, I cannot see people in this game. I need the target finder scope, fellas. I really do. I need to unlock that target finder. I used to hate on the target finder scope back in the day, too, man, but now I need it. I'm telling you, hey, life comes at you fast, fellas. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like and share and all that good stuff. What do you guys think about Condry and Schofield being Vondahar's new boss? Hopefully, they don't mess up Black Ops 4 because Black Ops 4 is Call of Duty's last chance. With the way Fortnite, PUBG, and all these other games like Rainbow Six Siege are blowing up, Call of Duty's in a lot of trouble, man. Black Ops 4 needs to be amazing. If Call of Duty is going to survive. Well, Cofield, uh, Cofield, Schofield, Condry, stay the hell out of Vondahar's way. And we need Black Ops 4 to be popping, baby. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like and share it, all that good stuff. It's your boy Thunder. I'm out of here. Peace.